Hey guys, and welcome to part two of building an epic workshop. To quickly recap part one, we partitioned a part of the garage to create a workshop slash studio for my dad, and we made a backdrop for his videos. There's still a lot of work ahead. The next step was to prep for the rail system. We went to Home Depot and picked up some PVC, which included four male adapters, four three-way elbows, four flanges, some clamps, and two 10-foot PVC pipes. Next up, we spray painted everything black. Putting the rail system together was super easy. We cut the pipes in half, popped the elbow pieces on, then we put on the adapters, which screw into the flanges, which are then screwed into the wall. To make it look even better, we wrapped some vinyl tape around the PVC. Over time, the spray paint would have most likely worn off if we kept mounting different things to the PVC, so the tape kind of helps with that. The reason we chose PVC was simply because of the cost. If we decided to go with metal piping, it would have tripled the price, and ain't nobody got time for that. Granted, metal would have been more heavy duty, but in the long run, I'm not too worried. It's also worth mentioning that the top pipe comes off the wall more than the bottom pipe, since we plan on mounting and cameras for true overhead shots. With the rail system in place, it's time to get the studio tiles installed. The foam tiles I bought were super cheap, around $15 for 12 tiles, so in total with shipping, it costs around $70 for 48 tiles. The goal is to make the workshop look badass. I'm not expecting any difference in sound since they're just an inch thick. To mount them, I bought some double-sided tape and applied a small piece to each corner. It is a bit of a time-consuming process, but Rome wasn't built in a day, am I right? A few pieces needed extra tape, but for the most part, they went up with no problem, and I was left with three extra tiles. Talk about cutting it close. Luckily, all the parts I wanted to cover are now covered, and it looks great. And that's it for part two of Building an Epic Workshop. Hit this video with a like if you're excited for part three, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Also, shout out to 700 plus of you that have subscribed to my dad's channel already. I'll leave a link to his channel down below in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flippity fly. Oh, yeah.